old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They left the house at half past nine. The smallest one was Madeline. In another old house that stood next door lived the son of the Spanish ambassador. He was all alone. His parents were away. He had no one with whom to play. Please come, I invite you all to a wonderful gypsy carnival. Up and down and down and up, he hoped the wheel would never stop. Round and round the children cried, Dear Miss Clavel, just one more ride. The big wheel stops, the passengers land. How fortunate there is a taxi stand. Hurry, children, off with these things. You'll eat in bed. Mrs. Murphy brings the soup of the evening. It is half past nine. Good heavens, where is Madeline? Poor Miss Clavella, how would she feel? If she knew that on top of the Ferris wheel, in weather that turned from bad to rotten, Pepito and Madeline had been forgotten. It was downpouring more and more as he knocked on the gypsy's caravan door. The gypsy mama with her umbrella went and got some help in the circus tent. With the aid of the strong man and the clown, Madeline was safely taken down. The gypsy mama tucked them in and gave them potent medicine. The big wheel was folded and the tent. They packed their wagons and away they went. For gypsies do not like to stay. They only come to go away. Gypsies taught them grace and speed and how to ride the circus steed. Then Madeline said, it's about time we sent dear Miss Clavel a line. Poor Miss Clavel, a shadow of her former self from worrying because instead of 12, there were only 11 little girls stopped brushing their curls and suddenly revived when the postal card arrived. Thank heaven, she said, the children are well. But dear, oh dear, they've forgotten how to spell. She studied the postmark and then fast and faster, they rushed to the scene of the disaster. The gypsy mama didn't like at all what she saw in her magic crystal ball. With a curved needle and some string, she sewed both the children in. And nobody knew what was inside that tough old lion's leathery hide. We'd better go back, for if we're not in a zoo or circus, we'll surely be shot. They got 
to the tent in time for the show. Look, said Madeline, there are people we know. Dear Miss Clavel, at last we found you. Please let us put our arms around you. The gypsy mama sobbed her grief into her only handkerchief. The strong man suddenly felt weak and tears were running down his cheek. Even the poor clown had to cry as the time came to say goodbye. The best part of a voyage by plane, by ship or train is when the trip is over and you are home again. Thank <laughs> you.